guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a bit of a mini beauty haul for you. I was feeling a little bit down so I went and did some online shopping and went to, well I didn't go to, I went on the body shop dot uk and feel unique as well and just bought myself a few little treats things that i've been wanting for a while so i figured i would share them with you the first let's start with the let's start with the body shop if you read my blog you will know how obsessed i am with this if you don't read my blog then why not it's linked below um but this is the body shop body butters and I got the strawberry one for my birthday in January and I ran out of that fairly quickly because I just, they're, these are amazing, okay? They will literally moisturise your skin for a full 24 hours, like, it's just incredible. They are so smooth to put on and they're just amazing. If you want to know any more about them then just, I'll put the link to the actual blog post in the description box, but yeah. I decided to go buy myself some more of these and I had a 40% off or 30% off code um, so I got two. I got this one which is the Brazil nut one and I also got the vitamin E one which I don't have to show you because it's at my house at home, not my house at uni. So yes, I bought these two. What I found though, which I find really odd, is these are all from the same line but the consistency is really different. This one is really, really thick, like I don't know if you can tell. It's like really, really thick. I don't know how to show that anymore, but yeah, this one's super, super thick, which is fine, I don't have a problem with it, you kind of have to melt it a bit more on your skin as you're rubbing it in, it kind of goes further as it melts, but the vitamin E one is a lot thinner and a lot easier to apply, which I just find really strange because they're from the same line, but hey ho, um, so yes, yeah, been loving, loving these, and so I bought myself some more, also from the body shop, I bought this the almond oil nail and cuticle treatment and this is a little brush with oil in the pen and this that you kind of turn and you sort of paint it on your cuticles and it will soften them up lovely and this little cuticle pusher thing is i find it really rubbish it's really like flimsy it doesn't really do anything but yeah i love the oil and i love how easy this is to have in your handbag um or in your pencil case um, so yeah, and you can just sort of brush it on one of your cuticles are feeling dry. Mine are really dry at the moment, so I've been using this quite a lot. Also from the Body Shop, I bought myself the Vitamin E Moisture Serum. I have been using Hydroluron, um, but it's very expensive, and this was a bit of a cheaper option, which I've heard a lot of good things about. So I figured I would give it a go. Um, I really do like it. It does work really well. One of the things I do like is that it shows you how much you've used, which is so cool, because as you pump it, the kind of... I don't know what that's called, the pressure thingy goes up. You know sometimes you have it in toothpaste? But yeah, so you can see how much you've got left, so you know when to buy a new one. But one of the things I don't like is that I find one pump is a lot, it's just too much for my face. So I use about half a pump, and I don't really get why they don't just make the pump only squirt half the amount, do you know what I mean? So you're not like trying to figure out, I don't know. Anyway, that's just my little bugbear. But yes, been loving this, and just thought I'd treat myself to this. So I also went on to Feel Unique and bought myself some things that I've been really wanting for a while. The first is a Travelo. This is a perfume atomizer, so you put it on top of your perfume and squirt your perfume into this so that you can take your perfume with you more easily, I suppose. I really like the Chloe perfume. It is my favorite at the moment. So I've put a load of that in here and I can just keep this in my handbag and it's really handy so I don't have to carry my big one around and I really like the colour of this. When I ordered it, it was like, what was it called? Like pink pink gold or something like that. Like something like that. But it's lilac. I don't know why they're lying to me. I feel like they've been lying to me. But yes, this is the Traveler with Genie S refill. Don't know what that is. But yeah, that's the bit where you put the perfume in. And then it's just got the normal squirt top. And actually holds quite a lot. For the size of it, it holds a lot. And it lasts a long time. I filled it up about halfway. And I've had it about three weeks now. I mean, it's barely gone down, really, and I use it fairly often. So, yes, been loving this, and I'm really glad I actually finally got one. The only thing is, it was about £12, which I think is quite a lot for a perfume atomizer. All it does is hold perfume. There's no perfume in it. So, I was a bit disappointed with the price, but they lured me in, and I bought one. So, it's something I forgot to say about the Traveller that I love, is the fact that you can see how much you've got in there. So, you know how much you're putting in to start with, and you know when you're running out as well. 
so that is super super handy. The last thing that I bought which I have wanted for a while um, is a Tangle teaser. This is the aqua one. So it's got holes straight down the middle and you use it in the shower. So I use it when I've got conditioner on my hair and I just kind of brush through my hair. It's really weird to hold, but yeah, brush through it while it's wet and while it's got conditioner on. And because my hair is really curly and really coarse, I find that a lot easier. So when I get out of the shower, I don't actually brush it again often. I usually just brush it in the shower now when it's got conditioner on so I get less breakage. And I've been really loving this. The reason it's got the hole, obviously, is so that water can run through and it doesn't go all horrible and mouldy. But I went on there to... Oh, it's called Aqua Splash. I went on there to get a normal Tangle Teaser because I just haven't had one yet. I don't know like how long have they been out, like three years, and I just haven't bought one yet. Um, and then I was kind of lured in to get this because I figured this would be quite a cool thing to have in the shower. To, and it kind of makes everything quicker as well. So you know you have to leave your conditioner on. Well, I leave mine on for like three to five minutes. While it's on, then I can be brushing my hair. So when I get out, I've just got less to do. When I'm in a rush, that's actually a bit of a lifesaver. So yes, I've been loving this and I'm glad I bought it. I think it was £11 or something like that. And you can get them in Boots. You don't, you don't have to get them online, but still a unique do shop internationally. So if you can't get hold of it, try going on there. And yeah, I've been really loving this. Thank you so much for watching my mini beauty slash skincare haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, then please subscribe. It's completely free. And my new videos will just pop into your YouTube feed. And you will also you can also get emails when I send new videos out. So yeah, please do that if you haven't done already. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.